New at 10, this next story started with a viewer email from a Chicago couple dinged in a minor fender bender. Then they got hit again, this time over the phone, bombarded by unsolicited calls and texts from law firms. CBS 2's Lauren Victory went on the hunt for answers. So here's the damage to the car. Joanne Barron's shows us a popped out bumper and two barely there scratches. And that's it. No one was hurt in the minor crash that happened on 94th and Ewing. Her husband and the other person were able to drive away. Well, about four hours after we filed the police report, um, my husband's phone just started getting bombarded. With calls and texts on behalf of personal injury attorneys. The lawyer said that if he went to the hospital immediately, that the lawyer could guarantee him twelve to $15,000 in compensation. That bothered Barron's. She wondered who would make a fake claim like that, and where did these law firms get their contact info? The reason we called CBS News was that we um, wanted to find out how this was happening. Our first thought, check if car accidents are publicly tracked through the City of Chicago data portal. Sure enough, right on the home page is a link to traffic crash records. From there, you can open up a data set with all sorts of information about a crash, from date to weather conditions to injury status, and important to this story, street address. You can actually purchase traffic crash reports. We showed Barron's how someone can input accident date and location using that public data, then pay six bucks for victim info. That's my husband's name and that is his, that's his phone number. I was absolutely stunned actually. <laughs> Trisha Rich was also immediately contacted by a law firm rep after her accident in a Chicago taxi. Why do you think that this isn't a conversation that's prohibited by rule 7.3? Attorney Rich is a legal ethics expert. Who knows? Illinois Supreme Court Rule 7.3 prohibits the solicitation of clients, including crash victims, over the phone. He got very upset. He ended up hating up on me. It's so professionally disturbing to hear about this practice. Personal injury attorney Tim Tomasic does not cold call. He's also the president of the Chicago Bar Association, and he explains the solicitation ban is to protect the vulnerable. People who have been injured, whether it's in a crash or, say, in a hospital, uh, they're overwhelmed. Other kinds of communications are okay. A lawyer can send you a letter in the mail. And attorneys are allowed to solicit via text if their message is labeled advertising material, which Barron's was not. The crash is right here. We found accident data usually isn't posted for at least half a day. It was only five hours post-crash when the cold calls and texts began. It still doesn't solve the mystery of how they were able to get your information so quickly. Yes, it doesn't. Whatever happened, Barron's hopes the soliciting lawyers are dinged for not following the rules. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Anyone bombarded by lawyer cold calls can file a complaint with the Illinois Attorney Registration and Disciplinary Commission. Barron's recently reported the numbers that illegally contacted her. CBS2 also reached out to all the cold callers. Two of them hung up on Lauren. None copped to how they got the personal information. Other legal sources tell Lauren sometimes a doctor or police officer will pass it on to law firms.